Revelation 3439. From the 17th of February 1945. Paradise of the New Earth. Fight of Light and Darkness. Only good proves itself in the final battle, for it is in direct contact with God and will therefore be able to resist until the end. Evil, however, leans towards God's adversary, is seized by him and pulled down into the depths of the abyss. This is the end of a redemption period and at the same time the beginning of a new one, so that the upward development of the unfree spiritual takes its course in a new epoch of time, which begins again with paradise on earth. For the good, which will emerge victorious from the last battle, that is, those who love God and their neighbor, will now reap the reward of their perseverance, their loyalty to God, by being granted an earthly life in deepest peace, where suffering and sorrow are banished and bliss has taken their place. In harmony of their souls they will live a life full of harmony, they will give love to each other and therefore be allowed to constantly receive love from God, who dwells in the midst of them as eternal love, they can no longer be harassed by the enemy of their souls, for he and his followers have been banished for a long time, and thus he can no longer exert any influence on the people who live God bound on the new earth. They know no fear, no doubt, for they stand in light, in knowledge, as a result of their life of love. And this state is a state of perfection which also secures their entry into the kingdom of light but they are still given a time on earth because they are to form the stock for the new human race which is to enliven this new earth. And only good people can be the inhabitants of the new earth, for they have discarded all inclination towards matter because they have recognized God and love him from the bottom of their hearts and consequently also know about their earthly task and their final goal. God can now approach them visibly and invisibly, he can constantly dwell among them in the word, he can instruct them and enlighten their spirit, for they do not oppose him in any way through their will or thinking turned towards matter. And as long as this state exists among people on the new earth, as long as they draw strength and bliss from him in intimate unity with God, it will also remain a paradise where blissful people live, who are far removed from suffering and adversity. Yet even this state will experience a change, but only after a long time. Then matter will exert its attraction on people again, who will become more lukewarm in their love for God. And then people themselves will give God's adversary the right to oppress them, for by striving towards matter they themselves turn towards him who is bound in matter. And he uses this. He seeks to turn people's will ever more and more towards matter and push it away from God. For man cannot strive for both at the same time. He will always have to give up one for the sake of the other, and therein lies the danger that people will attach their heart to matter again and leave God. And the battle of light against darkness begins again. The struggle of the God opposing forces for power over people begins. But the beings of light also wrestle for their souls, yet the will of the human being himself will always decide which power gains the upper hand, until Satan's raging becomes evident again and the end of a redemption period has come once more. Amen.